So Congress's dereliction of duty continues. Their negligence in handling this health crisis and economic crash is um, really difficult to quantify and describe. This is a crisis unlike many that the country has faced. And Congress has completely and entirely neglected to do their job. It is a complete dereliction of duty on behalf of Congress. They're, they have a very special holiday gift ready for everybody this year, you guys. I have an article here in CBS News. While Congress heads home to enjoy their nice, big, fancy Thanksgiving dinners provided by their staff in their mansions with their family, uh, 12 million Americans are set to lose their unemployment insurance that are barely keeping them treading water right now. And that's set to happen the day after Christmas. So happy fucking holidays, everybody. 12 million Americans, you guys. That's in a country that already already is way behind the entire rest of the world in terms of providing any form of stimulus or any form of, of income for the people who are going through this, right? Other countries have just left people on the payroll or provided monthly stimulus checks, enhanced their, their unemployment programs. What does the U.S. do? We give you one $1,200 check that not even everybody got that at this point amounts to less than $5 per fucking day. That's what we do. And then we tell you to pound sand, Tens of millions of you are set to be evicted? Cool. Tens of millions of you losing your health coverage and your job and your income? Cool. Tens of millions of you facing food insecurity? Congress is fine with it. How many of you are going through anxiety or depression or stress because of the, the financial constraints that this situation has put on your life? Congress tells you to piss off. Glenn, Glenn Greenwald did a piece back in the summertime covering the, the, the dire status of the country's mental health. How many of us are going through anxiety, depression, stress, suicidal thoughts, etc. Congress says, deal with it. We do not care. We're going home. We're, we're going to keep cashing our fucking checks. We're going home to, to eat in our mansions with our family. You all, you can lose your house. You can be sitting on the goddamn sidewalk starving. I don't care. I'm eating my turkey with my kids. That's what Congress is saying. It is unbelievable. I apologize if I get a little bit worked up on this topic, you guys. I'm trying to uh, <laughs> keep myself level, but this gets me very, very amped up because we are choosing to let people suffer to an extent that, again, I can't even wrap my head around. Okay. We'll dive into the CBS article, which I'll post in the description box. 12 million Americans set to lose unemployment benefits after Christmas. About 12 million jobless workers around the U.S. will lose their unemployment benefits this day, the day after Christmas, according to a new analysis. The benefits cut off could push many households into poverty while creating headwinds for the economic recovery, experts say. Two key government programs authorized by the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Securities Act, or CARES Act, expire on December 26th. One is the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, which provides jobless aid to freelance and gig workers. That would deprive 7.3 million workers of urgently needed income, according to a study released Wednesday by the Century Foundation, a progressive think tank. Another 4.6 million workers face being dropped from pandemic emergency unemployment compensation benefits. Another CARES Act program that provides an additional 13 weeks of jobless aid beyond the typical 26 weeks that states provide the analysis found. The extra 600 a week in federal unemployment insurance assistance that workers had been getting under CARES lapped at the end of July, lapsed, excuse me, at the end of July, slashing income for many Americans who lost their job during the first months of the coronavirus pandemic. It's it's um, I cannot describe the extent to which Congress has neglected to do their job. If any of us refused to do our job to the extent that these that these representatives and senators have and then went home for the holidays, we would be fired like that. But they get to continue cashing their massive checks, right? Not just for their actual job, but from lobbyists and all these, right? Let's not pretend that all this under the table stuff ain't going on. They get to keep benefiting massively from their elite position, right? They have protections from the virus that we can't receive, both just from their wealth and status and because they are members of Congress. They get the health care that we don't get. It's just I, it, describing the extent to which they have fucked the country is hard. 
it's hard to describe. It, it's such a magnificent dereliction of duty. Other countries, guys, like we see them, like, you know, you get the yellow vests in France. They're, they did pull up a guillotine if their government did this. In the United States, we just roll over and fucking take it. There should be guillotines outside Congress. Today, right now. There should be fires around the country, guys. This is, this, is, this is Congress completely neglecting to do their duty and continuing to benefit off of the corruption and the D.C. machine and all that garbage. It's so outrageous. I have a quote here um, from Andrew Stetner. He is from the Century Foundation. Quote, people don't realize that most of the people collecting unemployment benefits now will be cut off on December 26th. Most people will be going from that 200 to 300 a week to nothing. And guys, again, I'll point out two or three hundred a week for the vast majority of people in this country isn't even treading water. That is maybe rent, maybe rent, depending on where you are. That is maybe rent. You start getting into any other expenses. Gas, car maintenance, insurance, kids, food, clothing, any of the miscellaneous things that you have to buy in your day-to-day life, let alone things like cell coverage or, or internet or, you know what I mean, any technological devices you may need, furniture, whatever. Like, life is expensive, you guys. 200 300 bucks a month? Nothing. You're not even treading water. You're not even treading water. And Congress just says, that's fine with us. We're fine letting you drown. It is beyond the pale. They all need to be fucking replaced. We need to, this should cause riots, you guys. This should cause a general strike. This is like, you're not going to do your job? You're going to go home to Thanksgiving? Fine. Then essential workers should be saying, we'll go ahead and stay home too. See how quick Congress gets their asses back to do their fucking job if the whole economy comes to a halt because they have completely neglected everybody who is participating in it. That's what needs to happen. Shame on Congress, guys. Shame on, by the way, Pelosi could have had one and a half trillion dollars. Instead, she decided to play politics. And what'd she get? She lost fucking seats in the House, and now she'll be lucky to get 500 billion out of the Republicans. She probably won't even get that. The so-called Machiavellian genius that Nancy Pelosi is, right? We're all supposed to believe that she's this fucking political mastermind behind the scenes orchestrating all this. How'd she do? She left us all starving and losing our fucking houses and our health care and our income. And she lost seats in the house. She didn't even win the political game she was playing. And then what do the Democrats do? They reelect her speaker. <laughs> Guys, I again, I cannot state or overstate the extent to which our political process is broken and the extent to which these motherfuckers do not do their job, neglect to do their job and neglect to serve you in the capacity that they are supposed to. So again, stay in the streets, vote them out, all of the above. Throw the kitchen sink at it, guys. There should be riots, there should be a general strike, and these guys all need to go in two years.